dash. For audio description, press enter or tap the lower left of the screen. We're the Cyber Squad. I'm Jackie. I'm Matt. And I'm Inez. The Northern Frontier Ducks are migrating to their winter home, Restoria, and we're going to follow them. Ducks migrate or move from one region to another to find a warm place to live with plenty of good food and water. The flock needs to avoid obstacles and manage their energy while migrating to Restoria. Your mission is to work with the ducks to get to Restoria safely. But how can ducks fly such a long distance without getting tired or hungry? Let's tag along and find out. Here come the ducks. Let's get them to Restoria safely. Oh no, there's an obstacle. If the ducks run into it, it will make them weaker. Move the ducks to a clear. Great job dodging the thick cloud. Watch out. Another obstacle. Let's get out of the way. To move down, use the down button on screen or press the down key. Thick clouds can confuse the ducks by blocking the stars they use to find their way at night. Gulls can attack the ducks, so watch out for them. Wind can blow the ducks off course. Ducks might follow the lights instead of the stars they need to guide their way. Avoid obstacles to use less energy. Melinda is getting tired. Maybe another duck should take the lead. When ducks fly in a V, the duck at the front works the hardest, creating a wave of air that the ducks behind it can ride. But when the lead duck gets tired, it's time for another duck to go in front. Melinda looks tired. Want to swap them for another duck with more energy? These are the duck's energy meters. They show how much energy each duck has. Look at the energy meters and choose a duck that has enough energy to lead the flock. Select a duck that has enough energy to switch with the lead duck. Nice pick! That duck has enough energy. Select the check mark button to finish swapping. Watch out! Watch out! It looks like the ducks need a rest. But which pond should they stop at? There are two ponds. Which pond should the ducks rest at? Let's compare the amount of food and problems at each pond to help them decide. This is Poddle Pond. Let's find all the food here. Select the items at the pond or use the plus buttons at the bottom of the chart. More food will give the ducks more energy. Nice work. That's all the food at this pond. Now let's find all the problems at this pond. Litter, pollution, construction, car traffic, and dogs can be harmful or frightening to the ducks and make it hard to rest. That's all of them. Great work. All right, let's look at the other pond now. This is Bug Bite Pond. Let's find all the food here. Let's try another type of graph. Select the Pictograph button. Cool, right? Pick whichever graph type you like, bar graph or pictograph. Now let's find all the problems at this pond. That's all of them. Great work. Now it's time to choose which pond to rest at. Let's look at the graphs for Poddle Pond and Bug Bite Pond side by side. Compare the information on the graphs. 
Nice work. The ducks have more energy now. Let's keep flying. should take the lead. Rudy doesn't have enough energy. Let's try swapping them for another duck with more energy. Nice pick. That duck has enough energy. Select the check mark button to finish swapping. to swap. Wow! You earned the Great Dodger badge. You dodged every obstacle. <laughs> awesome! You earned the Perfect Ponds badge. You chose all the best ponds. You can play again with the same number of ducks or play with more ducks for a more challenging flight. <laughs> 